Hi, Classroom 3. It's Miss Chelsea. Are you ready to do circle time today? All right. We will start by doing our calendar time today. Today, it is Wednesday. We had Monday and Tuesday, and now today, it's Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. All day long, all day long. Yesterday was Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Thursday. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. We're down to the last couple days of our month. Does anybody remember what our month is? It's April. We're in the last week of April. April is the month. April is the month. Hi ho, did you know April is the month? And it is the 29th day of April. Two and a nine make 29. Yesterday it was a two and an eight for 28. Shall we count to 29? I'll clap my hands. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Yay, we made it. All right. Miss Kim is going to do the weather and the song helper today. And so I will read a book about our that has our letter of it, the week in it. Our letter of the week is G. And we know that G says G. G says G. G says G. Every letter makes a sound. G says G. And our story is one of my favorites. You've probably read it too with your family. Good night moon. And good starts with G. Good Night Moon by Margaret Wise Brown. All right. In the great green room, there was a telephone and a red balloon and a picture of, so there's our room. It's green, which also starts with G. A cow jumping over the moon. And there were three little bears sitting on chairs. And two little kittens and a pair of mittens. Can you find the kittens? Here they are, one, two. And a little toy house and a young mouse. House, mouse. And a comb and a brush and a bowl full of mush. And a quiet old lady who was whispering, hush. Good night, room. Good night, moon. Good night, cow jumping over the moon. Cow jumping over the moon? Good night, light and the red balloon. Good night, bears. Good night, chairs. There's the red balloon. Where's the bears? Oh, they're on the picture on the wall. Good night, kittens. And good night, mittens. Good night, clocks. And good night, socks.
Good night, little house. And good night, mouse. Good night, comb. And good night, brush. Good night, nobody. And good night, mush. And good night to the old lady whispering, hush. Good night, stars. Good night, air. Good night, noises everywhere. All right, that's a great story. Do you say good night to things that are in your room before you go to sleep? You say good night to your toys, good night to mom and dad, or to your brother and sister. All right, for our activity today, we're going to read another book. This one is about a butterfly who has gone missing. Nobody can find the butterfly. Where is it? All right, so it's called Flutter by Butterfly by Emma Parrish. And it's one where we can sl slide and seek to find out, find more pictures. Okay, so say hello and goodbye. It looks like we're looking for a pink and yellow butterfly. Let's see if we can find butterfly. Is Flutterby, nope. Where is Flutterby Butterfly? Okay, so we have, it looks like a picture of a tree here. Not here. This is bird. Is she hiding in here? Hmm, let's see what that is. Nope, this is Top Hat Tortoise. So it was a tortoise shell. Is Flutterby Butterfly hiding in this shell? No, but here is Slippery Snail. Oh, so that's the home where a snail lives. Is she between the flowers? No, it's Scary Scarecrow in the flower. Maybe Flutterby Butterfly is in the hive. Uh-oh. Oh, nope, those are busy bees. Could she be munching on some leaves? Hmm. Nope, this is Curly Caterpillar. Oh, look, it's a caterpillar. We know what those are and we know what those turn into don't we? Is Flutterby Butterfly on the web? Nope, this is Sunny Spider. So the spider lives in the web. Where could Flutterby Butterfly be? Here she is! It looks like she was in the flower garden, maybe smelling all of the pretty flowers. Yeah, we found her in the flower garden. For an activity today, I have a couple different options for what you can do. The first one is if you have a coffee filter and some markers, I drew some designs on the coffee filter and put drops of water on them to make um, the marker spread out to make the butterfly leaves. And then I took a pipe cleaner to make the antenna. Um, if you don't have pipe cleaners, you could also use bread. Um, you could use a tie for a, what, you know, a bread, bread loaf. Or another activity that I did was I put some paint in a Ziploc bag and then in the middle of it, I also put the pipe cleaner. Again, you could also use the twist tie from a loaf of bread. But I thought these would be fun for the kiddos to feel and 
or you know use the water all right have a great day friends i'll talk to you later